going on guys? I'm Anderson Brahimer here. I am, what am I, 12 days out of the Canadian National Pro Qualifier. Um, trying to go pro in men's physique division, Canada. And I'm going to take you through my second last chest day. Today I'm feeling uh, pretty tired. Diet's kicking my ass, but I'm going to plow through this shit. It's time to give her. So I'm going to take you guys through all the supplements that I take before uh, I start working out. So. Before I work out, I take uh, Pre-HD Ultra, I mean uh, Elite, not Ultra. Uh, I take Pre-HD Elite because it's non, non-stim. Um, Elite's nice pump, helps me, uh, you know, get me focused, cover while I work out, transports all the salt and um, through the night in the morning, it's my muscles. Gives me a nice kick because I literally have next to no energy because I only get carbs in the first three of my meals every day right now in the last three. It's just vegetables, which sucks, but something you gotta do when you're in the competition lifestyle. But I'm almost done, so it's gonna be worth it. Screw it, go down. I'm gonna get the EAAs ready. So, for my intro workout, I like taking um, the Intra HD, the watermelon flavor. So, I like the flavor of watermelon. Um, this stuff is great because it keeps me hydrated during my workouts and also it's gonna help me with uh, energy and recovery. It also has um, coconut powder, coconut water powder extract. So. That's like really, really good for hydration and muscle function. And then I also stack it with usually 15 grams of pure EAAs, but I got like next to nothing in this tub. So I'm really just scrounging for the last little bit of powder in here. Yeah, that's pretty much it. And then um, what I'll do is uh, right now, HD doesn't have their own um, hydration supplement yet but we're gonna be coming out with it soon so I've been taking Relight just a bunch of your like salts and minerals really really helps with muscle function your CNS which is central nervous system and uh, muscle cramping when I'm in prep and like I'm dieting down my muscles just get so tight especially if I don't drink enough water or if I don't have enough salt so while I'm working out I'll drink this and has all my electrolytes so it keeps me you know, hydrated, keeps me full, and I can actually feel my muscles a lot more, even though I'm like super depleted. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go fill this up with some water and uh, I'm gonna get to it. Okay, so I usually warm up with rear delts whenever I do push exercises because in the past, you know, when I started bodybuilding, didn't know too much, so I impinged a lot in my back because I wasn't lifting right. So I have shoulder pain sometimes in my rear delts, my rotator cuffs. So I always like to, you know, promote blood flow to the back of my shoulders and stuff before I do anything that has to do with pushing. So this is what I like to do to start with. Last set for that. Time to get into the real shit. All right, so right now we're gonna go to a plate loaded uh, seated bench press. Gonna start promoting more blood flow in my chest. I always kind of start lifting heavy at the beginning of my workouts, and then I'll gradually start to get weaker and more tired. So we're closer to the show. I usually do between 
20 to 30 reps to really promote a pump because I want my body to get used to putting all the glycogen and blood into the muscle that I'm going to be presenting on stage the most, men's physique. That's chest, shoulders, and back. So, yeah, I'm gonna take you over there. I'm gonna show you what I like to do when it comes to training for a competition. So here we go. Done. Time for the supersets and drop sets now. So the fun begins. So we got two more sets of uh, this superset. Um, big fan of supersets and drop sets just because it increases more volume, helps me grow more, really uh, tightens up the muscle bodies, you know, to make them look nice and bubbly. Because, you know, when you're on your stage, it's like the look, which is what I'm trying to go for. So right now we're doing like, it's like a different style of uh, shoulder press. So hitting like the upper part of my chest front delts and then I'm super setting with incline dumbbell chest flies I'm using 30 is really lightweight just so I can really feel my muscle connection with what I'm trying to work you know like I'm not really trying to go super heavy right now I'm not trying to put it like more stress on my body trying to injure myself because I'm so depleted more prone to injury so I'm gonna finish this two more sets I'm gonna go on to the next exercise I'm gonna take you there in a minute so let's do this
It's all about humanity. That's done. Time for the next superset. I'll show you where it is. All right, so the next superset, me doing, uh, starting with um, incline Smith machine barbell press. Me doing 15 to 20 reps, pumping it out. And then right after, we going to seated shoulder press, but I'm gonna be using dumbbells. And I'm gonna really be focusing on contracting my chest, but I'm also gonna be hitting my front delt, so it's like, it's like a neutral grip front shoulder raise, but I'm gonna be using a lot of my chest to bring it up, and then at the very end of the, the range of motion, I'm gonna be hitting my front delts. You guys will see it, but it's gonna promote a lot of blood flow and uh, circulation to so the top part of my chest, and then I'll show you guys what we're gonna be doing after to really try and finish the chest off. So let's get this started, rock and roll. It's all about humanity. So all the supersets are done. Okay, one more exercise. It's gonna be this M Torture fly machine. It's uh, play loaded. It's more of like a decline fly. It really hits the lower part of your pack. Feels great. It's really good contraction and stretch. Um, we're doing a triple drop set for this one. So I'm gonna put on three plates, drop a plate. Two plates, drop another plate. One plate probably, I don't know, it depends on how heavy one plate is, pretty light, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna do that for three sets, and then chest stays over. I'm gonna start a little bit of posing. I'm gonna get a post-workout meal in, and 12 days left. So, time to get it. Ugh. Daytime 
that's it. Second last chest save done. 12 days left for the big day. Queen of the Pain National Pro Qualifier. If you guys want to follow my journey, see where I'm at, see how I place and how I do, you can follow me at Emmer underscore bra on Instagram. Same handle on TikTok, Emmer underscore bra. A big plan right now. This will be my sixth competition, um, being pro qualifier. If I win overall, I'll become a pro. And that's just the first step. The big picture here is to go pro in September on the 18th at the Canadian Nationals. Prep again for December 4th, which is a Toronto Pro Show. Because it's a tier two show, if I became a pro, competed as a pro at the Toronto Pro Show and won, then it'll qualify, qualify me for Mr. Olympia 2022. It's always been a dream of mine. Sacrificed a lot to get to where I am today. So, I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens, but yeah, I'm willing to put in the work. If not, die trying. Stay swole, keep it real. Catch you guys later.